Love is a two-way street. You get out of it what you put in. But what if your partner doesn't want to follow that roadmap? What if they'd rather use jealousy, envy, and deceit to get what they want? Is that a road you're willing to go down? Because if it is, it just might be a dead end. October 21st, 2013, Alexandria, Louisiana. Today, in this picturesque community on the banks of the Red River, folks are out and about enjoying the fall weather. This is a very small community. People run into each other a lot. Not too much going on around Alexandria. Life is kind of slow. It's a good place to raise your, your kids. But at 5.30 p.m., Alexandria's peace and tranquility are suddenly upended. All of a sudden, a gunshot rings out. You hear screams, shrieks of horror. It's a pandemonium of fear and trying to figure out what's going on. A small group of girls has gathered around a young woman on the ground. A passerby who heard the shots runs up to help. She tries to help her, but she sees blood coming from her chest. The victim has been shot in the chest and is drifting in and out of consciousness. Moments later, the police pull up. It's a race against time to save her life. An investigation into the shooting would reveal how quickly the flames of passion can burn out of control and how one woman's desire to keep her man all to herself would spark a violent feud with deadly consequences. Eighteen-year-old Kiana Collins had always possessed a feisty, strong-willed spirit. Kiana was like a little chihuahua with a big bark. She was gonna speak her man. She wasn't scared of anything. Kiana was a leader, most definitely a leader. She was always very outspoken. She was sassy. She say what she mean, and she mean what she say. And Kiana's mind was as sharp as her tongue. She was a go-getter. She was smart in school. I had very high hopes because I knew she was gonna make something out of herself. She was the highest in the class. She got high remarks on everything. She had every aspiration of going to college. She wanted to do cosmetology school. She wanted to do that, like makeup and hair and stuff. But after graduating high school, Kiana started to test her father's patience. Just because you turn 18, that don't make you grown. You just can't come home when you please. That's not going to work. Kiana's mother had passed away nine years earlier, and her father worried that Kiana's new rebellious streak meant she still hadn't fully processed the tragedy. Our mama passed in 2004. She was a good woman. Their mom played such a big role in their life, you know, she was their everything. Most young people don't know how to express grief. When they are in pain, they will act out. Despite her father's concerns, Kiana continued to push boundaries and soon developed a taste for the nightlife. Kiana was sticking it to the clubs, smoking marijuana. Mr. Butt is on that issue. She was the party type. We was always into something. We was at the club, we was somewhere riding the town down. We was doing something all the time. In the fall of 2013, 18-year-old Kiana's wild, fun-loving ways caught the attention of 30-year-old Thompson Blaze Roberts. Kiana and Blaze, they meet. The relationship accelerates fast. Kiana fell hard and fast for Blaze. 
the passion was undeniable. She was really in love with this guy. Blaze was buying her gifts, showing her affection. That's what mainly attracted Kiana. He was giving her whatever she wanted. But Kiana's friends and family had their reservations about Blaze. He had a reputation around town as a ladies' man. He didn't know how to be with one woman. That was the bad part. Kiana paid no attention to the haters. She was in love, and no one was going to stand in her way. When it came down to Blaze, she was a whole different person. I didn't understand, but it's not like I could have told her anything different anyway. That's what she liked. Little did Kiana know that the love for her new man would ultimately cost her everything. At 5.40 p.m., police and paramedics arrive on Lee Street in South Alexandria, where it appears that a local woman has been shot. They found a female victim lying on the ground. Witnesses tell police the 